Вот его, походу, въебало, блядь. Здесь раскидало. The state emergency service of Ukraine shared Friday video of the aftermath of Russia's latest airstrike on a police station and residential area in Kharkiv. One policeman was killed and 26 others were injured in the attack. According to the head of Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, Ola Senegibov, a Russian S-300 missile also damaged 20 residential buildings, injuring four civilians. During the last week of October, the aggressor country Russia transferred more than 7,000 soldiers of the North Korean army from Primorsky Krai to areas near Ukraine, arming them with automatic weapons, sniper rifles and machine guns, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported. According to intelligence, North Korean troops were transported using at least 28 Russian military transport aircraft. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported that the Russians armed the DPRK soldiers, in infantry fashion, they issued 60mm mortars, AK-12 assault rifles, Kalashnikov machine guns, SVD-SVCH sniper rifles, Phoenix ATGMs, and grenade launchers, RPG-7. Foreign troops were also provided with a few night vision devices, thermal imagers, collimator sites and binoculars. The main intelligence directorate added that training of DPRK military personnel is being carried out at five training grounds in the Russian Far East. Recall, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense announced that almost 11,000 North Korean soldiers are currently training in eastern Russia to fight against Ukraine. South Korean intelligence confirmed that the Russian Federation is preparing North Korean special forces for war in Ukraine. Then it became known that South Korea was considering sending its military to Ukraine in response to the DPRK's actions. Later, South Korea said it would send a delegation to Ukraine to discuss the issue of bringing in North Korean troops. NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta confirmed the involvement of North Korean troops in the war against Ukraine and their redeployment to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. CNN, citing two Western intelligence officials, reported that a small group of North Korean troops was already in Ukraine. Officials expect that number to grow as the DPRK military completes its training in eastern Russia.
U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that up to 8,000 North Korean troops had been deployed to the Russian Kursk region. President Volodymyr Zelensky once again reproached Western partners for just watching while Russia amasses foreign troops near Ukraine. A suspected militant was killed in a gunfight with government forces in Srinagar in Indian-administered Kashmir, officials said Saturday. Police and paramilitary soldiers exchanged fire with at least one militant after troops cordoned off a neighborhood on a tip that he was hiding in a house in the region's main city of Srinagar. Residents said the troops torched the home where the rebel was trapped, a common tactic employed by Indian troops in the Himalayan region. There was no independent confirmation of the incident. In a separate incident, soldiers intercepted a group of militants in a forested area in southern Anantnag district on Saturday, leading to a gun battle that killed two rebels. India and Pakistan each administer a part of Kashmir, but both claim the territory in its entirety. The nuclear-armed rivals have fought two of their three wars over the territory since they gained independence from British colonial rule in 1947. Militants in the Indian portion of Kashmir have been fighting New Delhi's rule since 1989. Many Muslim Kashmiris support the rebels' goal of uniting the territory, either under Pakistani rule or as an independent country. India insists the Kashmir militancy is Pakistan-sponsored terrorism. Pakistan denies the charge, and many Kashmiris consider it a legitimate freedom struggle. Tens of thousands of civilians, rebels and government forces have been killed in the conflict. Ya, çalana pişecek. Lan git. 